Shit. It's P simple. The revolution will be digitized. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Real Talk Session Series. Thank you so much for all the support and love that you gave us all. We definitely do appreciate it. Today we have the phenomenal woman, Miss Alexa Esperanza. Did I say that right? You did. You all right, did. cool. I was going to roll like she said that Esperanza. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely. Um, so can you just start off and tell us a little bit about yourself? Who is Alexa? Um, Alexa is a daughter a friend a sister and an artist okay perfect mm -hmm. so just through my research and whatnot I saw that you did spoken word so what really inspired you to get into that field what inspired that was my mom actually my mom um, I remember growing up my mom had these huge binders full of all of her poetry and she used to get paid to go around and perform poetry at other places and I love the way that my mom writes she's one of my biggest writing inspirations um so yeah I would have to definitely give credit to her on that okay nice so would you say that the transition of you doing spoken word and poetry helped you uh transition into music which her album is currently out yellow on title everywhere <laughs> everywhere she is there so yeah so tell us about yellow did the writing help you get to that point of um well music music was first music was like the foundation of everything i was already i had already been like maybe halfway through recording all the songs for it um before i decided that i wanted to add the spoken word um because the spoken word is like as far as like performing spoken word and sharing my spoken word with other people, that's the newest part. So the music definitely came first. Yeah, I, I definitely understand with jumping out and trying something new. And one of the things that I, that immediately stuck out when I was looking to the album was the spoken word and just the messages even within the music. So definitely I highly suggest men and women, non-binary people, check this out. It's definitely something crazy. So just to get more uh, background of who you are, um, who are some of your role models? My, I would say my biggest role model has been my big sister, who you know. Um, Shout out to Cam. She's the most incredible woman ever. Um, she's one of the smartest, wisest, um, most compassionate people that I know. And yeah, I would definitely say that she's my biggest role model. Okay, so is this you two? Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect, yeah. And that's one of the, the, the funny things that's kind of connected when you talk to people is that the big brother, big sister, big uh, sister, big little sister uh, relationships that people have, like they're very impactful. And especially for me and my little brother, we haven't really talked over the years, but we've gotten closer definitely. And he's been, he's told me like he's proud of me and whatnot. And you never realize who is watching you. So that's why it was important, you know, and salute to Cam because you did your thing. Your sister's <laughs> out here singing and whatnot. Got the hair popping and all that too. So she's good, you know? So um, one of those things, uh, uh, when I ask about role models, you know, I'm interested in seeing how a person got to this point And a lot of that deals with history. So with you, we go into hip hop knowledge. We go into music knowledge. I want to dig in a little, little bit. Okay. What was the first cassette that you purchased? The first cassette. I may be a little too young for that. I remember I the first. Fast <laughs> I remember the first CD that I bought, but I don't okay. remember the cassette. I remember having cassettes, but I don't remember actually buying one. Okay, perfect. But so, I can tell you the CD. So though. what was your most? So what was your first CD purchase then? The first CD that I bought was um good charlotte okay. i think it was their it was their first album the one that had lifestyles of the rich and the famous on it that was the first cd that i bought with my own money i used to love them okay nice nice yeah yeah that's like completely opposite of me <laughs> <laughs> so uh my first album was actually the chronic 2001 okay. by dr dre shout out dr dre <laughs> um and a funny story was that we were playing the album coming back from uh the wiz because back in the day the store of the wiz was open and my parents were like, let me listen to see what you're listening to. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Are you sure? And then there was a track on there called Pause for 
porno and they were uh, simulating stuff on there and that was the most awkward minute and 33 seconds oh ever <laughs> so yeah shout out to the people whose first cds were kind of problematic but still dope sonically and also just changing the game so definitely um so getting back to your album yellow mm -hmm. what is your favorite track and why who um my favorite track changes like every other day okay. um i'll say today my favorite track is dancing with wolves okay that's a dope one um yeah that one i think well that one was the first the first to like that's the one that started it all okay um it's i a jam. it's a jam I, I wrote that when i was in college and i remember fleshing out all the chords and putting lyrics to it and I was like I just I don't I don't know um I needed a I needed a last song for my senior recital because I was missing one and I had to do one more and I was like well let's just like let's just throw some originals in there like let's just do it and it turned out that people really liked it a lot and they kept asking me about it so I was like well let me just like do a real thing and like put it out yeah and that's important too like she had a dream right there she was kind of scared of it I'm assuming but you know once you actually conquer something that's intimidating that's when you know it's definitely worth it so kudos to you for making that leap because it's real <laughs> the anxiety of whether you're going to fail succeed etc but like you've got a lot of potential it's going to get there i see Thank a lot you. of bright brightness in your future definitely um so just wrapping up right now if you can say one thing to men and then one thing to society what would it be <sighs> one thing i would say to Keep men it real. <laughs> One thing I would say to men, and I'll try to be as nice as possible because I'm in my parents' home. I would like you guys, please run. Do not walk to your nearest therapist. I honestly think that the world yes. would be a better and a much safer place for everyone if men were more empathetic and if that were encouraged more for men to feel their feelings yes. i feel like a lot of a lot of like um i'll say lateral violence in the black community like from men is because they don't know how to process their traumas yep. they don't know how to process their feelings and then they end up unfortunately taking that out on the people around them yes. um but yeah so yeah. i say that to add on to that definitely like therapy is very big and especially fellas y'all listening to different music jay-z talked about it in 444 that helped him get through a lot of stuff mm -hmm. and necessarily therapy isn't free right. but there's different resources out there available mm -hmm. um one of the resources that i recommend is emotional intelligence 2.0 it really teaches you about yourself raises your self-awareness and how you relate to other people etc so and really all you need to read is the first 20 pages so please check that out so uh what is your message to society that would probably just be not to be corny but like if if we could all just be a little nicer mm -hmm. <laughs> if we could all be a little nicer to each other i don't know how to i don't know how to explain to people some people uh how or why you should care about people other than yourself yes. um i think that is a big issue especially in this country people uh they hoard resources fully aware that there are people without who are suffering and people who are mar marginalized who are suffering people that are different than them if everybody could just open their minds and we could just kumbaya um that's not going to be a pretty process people's feelings are going to get hurt but at yep. the end of the day like we all got to be here for each other yes ma'am definitely so. So I would definitely want to appreciate you and thank you for just providing the world with a message and a great album to just vibe out to, definitely. So I appreciate you. So Real Talk Session Series, hopefully we'll see way more of Alexa Esperanza. Get her album and thank you. Real Talk Session, the revolution will be digitized. Cause someone's always trying to stop